Linda Robson, 63, is starring in the forthcoming series of the popular show, alongside her Birds of a Feather co-star Leslie Joseph. But from what the Loose Women star has recently revealed about her time on the program, she endured several incidents during production. Linda says she remains hopeful that show bosses won't show her wetting herself when a raft fell on top of her at a water park. She remembered climbing onto a raft and being instructed to let go and freestyle down. When she then climbed over a wall to reach the other side, that's when the accident occurred, leaving Linda embarrassed as cameras continued rolling. I didnt get a serious injury, but I did wet myself and everything fell out of my swimming costume. I lost my dignity. Hopefully they won't show that bit. In the interview with Bella magazine, the TV personality and actress also admitted to needing medical help for an injury on set. I nearly killed myself a couple of times, she said. We were playing bowls, and it got dark and I fell down a ditch. I ended up with a big gash in my leg. I needed medical help for that. I thought I was going to need stitches, but thankfully I didnt in the end. Celebrity coach trip is filled with a new star-studded lineup following a two-year break. The upcoming series includes the likes of X Factor star Honey G, Gogglebox favorite Tom Malone and Big Brother's Letitia Grace, to name a few. The show began filming in Portugal in September, with Brendan Sheeran serving as the official tour guide. Earlier this week, Linda dispelled rumors of an alleged feud between her and former colleague Pauline Quirk, saying she would be open to starring in another Birds of a Feather special after the success of last year's Christmas episode. Pauline was notably absent from the show, leading many fans to believe she was not on good terms with her ex-cast members. Linda, who attended the Clifford the Big Dog premiere on Sunday, expressed to The Sun that a TV reunion would be lovely, though she didnt clarify whether this would involve Pauline. Over the summer, a report claimed that ITV had scrapped plans for a revival of the 90s sitcom due to the latter's hesitance in reprising her role as Linda's on-screen sister, Sharon Theodopolopodos. Without Pauline, the view is that there is no birds of a feather, an insider told The Mail on Sunday. You cannot have Tracy without Sharon, and there is no way Pauline will be going back. Things are bad between her and Linda. Linda and Leslie gave it a go but, despite the figures being good, ITV won't be recommissioning it. The insider added that tension had been brewing between the pair for years. For the most part, the two managed to keep their alleged feud out of the spotlight, but that didnt mean Pauline would ever want to work with Linda again. Furthermore, it's been said that Pauline resented the attention Leslie received on the show, and while it was unfortunate for fans to miss out on a full-on reunion between all three lead stars, Linda and Leslie would more than likely want to front another TV special on their own. Birds of a Feather premiered on BBC One back in 1989 and ran for an impressive eight years before a reboot saw the return of Linda, Pauline and Leslie's quirky characters in 2014, and now makes periodic specials about their on-screen characters every other year. Linda and Pauline used to be very close, less so Pauline and Leslie. I think Pauline resented the attention that Leslie got and it was very tense and difficult to navigate at times. Pauline WASNT approached about the Christmas special. The atmosphere on the set had previously become difficult, there were real and tense issues. At the time, Express.co.uk reached out to Linda, Leslie and Pauline for comment.